being, oh yeah, I was going to say, I was looking at my, uh, my uh, statistics yesterday on my uh, creator content app, you know, uh, every YouTuber probably should have one, um, gives you all the statistics, all the, everything on your, on your channel, right? So, I was looking at it, and uh, looking at the video, like you can look, check out all your old videos and see how they're doing, right? And so you can watch the videos as, as they are, you know, most recent, uh, or you can click a thing that says the most viewed. Now, I have this one video, and it's, okay, the two most viewed, viewed videos on my channel, or I'll say the three most viewed. Um, okay, one of them uh, is one called Goddamn Zombie Alarm Clock, and it's me doing something weird with my Casio, and uh, it's just a minute long, but people don't like it. <laughs> people don't like it, and it's been seen by a lot of people. Um, I believe the second most popular is this one called uh, The Golden Cup A Minor Harmonica, Um and where I, I have, um, now, I'm at this point in my YouTube career, I'm kind of isolated, unmedicated, uh, sleepless, crazy, and I'm just doing YouTube just to talk to something, you know, because I was pretty isolated from the world at that point um, in, my, in my current life. Um, so yeah, it's like, it's like 10 minutes, me, it's not even 10 minutes, but it's like a video, it's just me yakking about this harmonica, and I, you know, and it's a pretty bad video, like, I gotta say, it's like me at my worst, you know, and, uh, you know, when at the very end, I play a little bit on the harmonica, you know, and it's, people don't like that video, <laughs> um, that's okay, though, but it's got, like, over a thousand views on it, um, but anyway, the most, my most viewed video is this, uh, it's just called, I think it's called Good Morning from the Meth End of Town or something like that, and, uh, it's just me doing a vlog like this, you know, where I'm dipping and talking, right, and it's also at a time where I'm pretty much at my worst, you know, um, I don't know if it really appears that way, but in my head, I'm at my worst, you know, um, Anyhow, it's my most popular video. It's got over 3,000 views on it. And, uh, I don't, like, I kind of want to delete it because it sucks so bad. But part of when I started this channel, I, I started it, you know, and I think about it kind of as a diary over my last few, few years, right? Um, so I don't want to delete anything because I might want to go back and look at how I was feeling that day a year ago or two years ago, whatever, you know what I mean? Um, you know, part of me wants to delete this video because if it's the one that's getting out there the most and people are hating on it, I don't want people to think I'm lame. But I also want to see how far I can go with it and how many shitty comments I can get on it. <laughs> so it's not got many. It's got a few, though. Um, yeah. <laughs> YouTube life, man. All right. Well, I'm going to get ready for my harmonica lesson, and I hope you all have a fantastic day. Thanks for your views, your, your likes, your comments, whatever, anything, your reactions. Thank you very much, and uh, yeah, and thank you to my, my new subscriber. Um, I always say it, and I always procrastinate on it. But I'm gonna get, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a list and shout everybody out soon because I am very, very grateful that you would take the time to subscribe to my random little weird ass channel here. All right, be well. Talk to you soon.
ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Dirty Pat Walsh channel. It's me, your host, Dirty Pat Walsh. It's getting down to the final moments of me waiting for Danielle. So I figure uh, I haven't done any nasal snuff for a while um, on video. And uh, I've been really enamored with this FC Baron. Uh, snuff. I don't want, I'm using it very sparingly because uh, it's, from what I gather, it's quite hard to find. And uh, luckily I was gifted this by uh, Suit and Tie Dippin' Chew, Chew Guys. Thank you very much. I've done a review of it somewhere in my smokeless tobacco reviews. But really, I just want to see how big a bump I can do of it. Because, uh, Good at that sort of shit. Okay. There's a big ass bump. Lost some of it. But that's fine. Okay. That's a big ass bump. really good. Gonna have to do some more. The stuff is so good. Let me make a cracker there. Oh. Oh, gotta catch them all. Oh, man. It's so good. I've been really stuffed up lately. So, nasal, mentholated nasal snuff is quite good in the short term if you're uh, having congestion problems. Um,. Like right now I can breathe clear as clear as, a, as clear as a beautiful blue sky, you know. Oh, yeah. But in the in the in the long term, when it wears off, it's just kind of gonna clog my nose up more. I'll have to blow my nose and do it again. But uh, yeah. It's much, much better than one of them uh, Vicks inhalers or whatever, you know. Better than a uh, nasal spray that you got to use all the time if you got congestion problems. Um, just snuff it out, man. It's good. I got a lot of nasal snuff right now um, that I've been going through. Pretty much all of this is uh, gifts from Suit and Tie Dip and Chew Guy. I got a little bit of my crystals left. I'm saving. This is my favorite tobacco product ever made. So I'm using this very sparingly. I have this uh, Schmaltzler D in the bag. This stuff is fucking amazing. Amazingly good. Um, it has longevity too. This bag's lasting. Got all kinds of blueberry, apricot, strawberry. This one I really like too. Um, Samuel Gale with cola. This is uh, what they call it silver, but it just smells like mentholated cola. And it's fucking awesome. <laughs> um, got some Elmo's Reserve. Another Schmaltzler. This one here. This one's this one's fucking great. I love Schmaltzler snuffs. They're they're uh, they're very nice. They're not mentholated. I don't do them all the time, but I sure like them when I do them. So yeah, 
Lots of, I got some lime, I got some uh, blueberries, strawberry, apricot, lots of fruity stuffs. They're all really good. Um, I do like the mentholated ones the best though because they clear, clear my face out of uh, junk while adding more junk to my face. Oh man, okay, we're going to do one more just because it's so good. Right. These cans, these little tins they sell them in, they're not bad. They're, I don't know, they're not, they're not the most airtight things. And these uh, snap snap tops, they're they're all right, but I like a slider better. You know, my favorite snuff can of all time, like this, is the Packard's Club Snuff. It like uh, it has a it has a like a little like the it has this little slide thing and it knocks out an exact good bump of of the of the snuff and it's really wonderful snuff too Packard's Club snuff yeah one of my one of my favorites but, uh, this is what we got right now this stuff is really it's really amazing it's like a it really reminds me of uh, Samuel Gale with apricot. You know, it's like a real uh, fruity. It's got a real fruity, fruity forefront. You know, um, and a good dose of mentholation as well. So, yeah, one more for the road here. Very nice. Uh, the trials of being a snuffer. Yeah. Carry a do rag. Wipe your nose a lot. All right. Well, thanks for uh, in, enjoying a pinch of snuff with me. Um, I'm down, I'm really, I'm down in my last can of dip right now, and I won't have any, uh, till, I don't have any money to spend on dip, uh, until the end of the month, so I'm trying to, trying to use up some of my chew, and trying to use up some of my snuff, just, uh, in lieu of dipping right now, because I want to save, I want to, I want to save my can as long as I can, it's, a uh, it's uh, my very last can of Skoll Original Fine Cut, which is precious, very precious dip to me. So, anyhow, that's all. I just wanted to do a bump of stuff with you. So, be well, and I'll see you soon. Bye.